Okay, this is the kettlebell hike pass and kettlebell power swing. Both are useful for learning how to prepare for the two-handed swing. The drills in their own right for learning how to do kettlebell swing safely and effectively. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got my kettlebell here. I'm going to stand back from it. And the distance is that I need to be able to hinge back and in this position, touch the handle with my fingertips. If I hinge back and I'm too far away and I'll have to overreach, this is no good. So it's getting a line between the kettlebell and my two feet is a triangle here where the triangle is roughly equal distance on all sides. Feet are at hip width. I'm going to hinge back. Now here we're going to do a hike pass, okay, which is learning how to hike the kettlebell back for the first imaginary rep. So I'm going to be in, I'm going to grasp the handle and notice I'm shifting my weight backwards. My hips are below my shoulders, but above my knees, that is very important. And in this position, I'm keeping my head in neutral, I'm not cranking my neck up. Neck up. Okay, so from here I'm going to hinge. I'm going to take the belt, I'm going to shift my body weight backwards on towards my heels, keeping my lats engaged, I'm going to hike the bell back between my legs high into the groin, and then set it down to its returning spot. And again, breath in. Release the breath as it goes forward, two more. Okay, so that's the hike pass. Moving on one step from there, we're going to do a power swing, which is a single rep swing. I'm going to hinge. I'm going to do my hike pass into one swing. Catch it in the hips, set it back down on the starting position. Again, breathe out, breathe in. Set it down. And the whole point of this drill is to get used to driving the kettlebell forward. In this position, I'm in a vertical plank. Glutes are tight, quads are tight, abs are engaged. It's the lead on from the hard style plank. Kettlebell comes up to here. I want to keep everything locked in and engaged as the kettlebell falls. I'm going to break away at the last minute on the hips, catch it in the hips, and then set it back down on the floor. Weight stays towards my heels throughout the drill, although full contact with the floor is through my feet at all times. And that's the hike pass and the single rep power swing.